Hi, welcome for our RTL online training and placements. This is Chandra. In this session, I'm going to explain you what are the new updates we got uh, in 23A version in 2023, first quarter. That's what we call it as uh, release 13, 23A version. So once we connect to the applications, if I want to know the version, what we do is we'll go to user menu. Whenever we go for user menu here, go to about this application. Here we can find which version and what is the update. Version is release 30, that's the version. And update is 23A, 2023, A means first quarter. So a lot of changes uh, we got, a lot of updates we got from Oracle in finance, supply chain management, uh, as well as in human capital also. In human capital management also, we got changes in uh, HCM common features and common architecture features, talent management and HCM data loaders and spreadsheet data loaders. This session, I'm going to explain you in the HCM common architecture, what are the changes we got and how it's going to be helpful for our clients going forward into the next level. That's what I'm going to explain. In the next session, I'll explain you what are other features uh, we got it here. Let's go to Navigator here. So once we go to Navigator, so here in HCM common architecture feature, we'll be talking about only transaction console. Transaction console. We have two consoles, mainly one is security console, another one is a transaction console. In security console, we are going to talk about uh, the user management as well as the role management. When it comes for the transaction console, in the name itself, transaction, Transaction is nothing but when we perform some entry from the front end as a business perspective. For example, hire an employee, transfer employee, terminate employee, add the grade to the employee, or create a new position, create a job. These all are transactions, right? So whenever we perform some transaction, some of the transactions will have an approvals. Some of the transactions will not be having approvals. It's auto approval will be there. So that entire history, we can get it from here. That's what we call it as a transaction console. Let's go to transaction console here. Whenever we go for a transaction console, there are three features introduced by Oracle. Three features are introduced by Oracle. What is the first feature? Archive the process. Whatever the process, whatever the transactions we have done, there is a facility to archive. Archive means uh, take the backup. Whenever you need again in the future, you can go for refer it. We can go for a refer those particular uh, process means those particular transactions. Okay, so that that time we are going to use this particular archiving process. Let's see that you can find a yellow color box here, and you got a message: completed uh, transactions have been archived for three months. Archiving can improve performance of this particular transaction console. So for three months, it, this this particular transaction will be maintained. So you can also find last three months, six months, nine months, uh, you can find this. And all this information will be archived, means uh, backup. So we can find the uh, database, all these transactions, whatever happened. It's a very good feature to get the latest uh, transactions the last three months. It will be always taken. It. So if at all you want to go for archive, you can do this from here. You can go for doing that from here. Uh, we don't need to do any particular setup or separate license is not required for this. The moment when client upgrade to this latest version, automatically it will be applied. Automatically it will be applied. So click this button, archive now. So what happened? System is going to take this uh, transactions into the archive mode. For this internally, one process will be submitted. This, this is the process ID. Where do we find this process? We can get it from Navigator, Scheduled Process. If we go to Navigator and Schedule the Process, we'll come to know the, the program has been completed successfully or not. This here we can find. Let's go to Schedule the Process here. We'll come to know what is the name of the process to take the archiving of this particular transactions here. Okay. So this is a, a first feature which is introduced by Oracle in our uh, HCM common orchestra architecture. Let's see a common architecture first feature. Now we can see that here archive transaction console 
for completed transactions. Whatever the transactions has been completed, it is going to take the target. That is the first one. Second one is diagnostic log. Earlier, what happened whenever we try to perform some transaction, if there is any approval process, let's say we have some supervisor hierarchy and we got some error or we got approval successfully. In any of the case, we just wanted to see the log. It was not available. Now, Oracle has introduced this uh, new feature, uh, diagnostic log file. This can be downloaded and we can go through the entire uh, process, log process, what happened internally. Let's go to transaction console here and we can choose any transaction. Or maybe the transaction can be in error status or successful status, or it may be in pending, uh, but still we can go for download this uh, particular uh, dialog box and we can go ahead with update that we can get it here. Let's uh, let's go for, uh, this is archive, archived transaction summary. Here we can find. Let me remove this uh, status called failed. By default, what happens? System takes the status as failed because uh, uh, when the organizations are performing different transactions, they wanted to check first failed transactions, right? So for example, uh, there is some requisition has been created by an employee. This, this is the requisition. It has been successfully completed here, but still I just wanted to check the diagnostic log. Uh, then we can go for this diagnostic log option. Of course, we can find the approvals here itself uh, and comments and attachments information we can find. But still, uh, this text file is going to give us the complete diagnostic information internally, uh, how this has been started and what are the internal process. And if there are any log messages as written within this process, we can find those uh, log information over here. So most of the times, whenever there is some problem with the transactions, then we can go for download this particular file and then open the file and go through and try to trace exactly what was the issue. And according to that, we'll go for debug the application here. So this is the second feature which has been introduced by Oracle in this uh, latest version, diagnostic log in transaction console. Then the third one is uh, approvals and notifications. Generally, whenever we are working with workflows, workflow will be used to process the transactions and send the notifications across the application users, right? So let's say we have hired an employee and after that uh, we got an approval, we need to get an approval from the manager. Obviously the notification will be sent to the supervisor hierarchy manager. So, but I wanted to go for resend it again. Resend that particular approvals uh, I wanted to send. This is our uh, diagnostic report, this internally uh, current rule configuration which rule was there internally what was the rule name progress for any transaction how it has been executed so this will make us more uh, you know clarity on the diagnostics like uh, what exactly it's an excellent feature given by oracle in case if there is any process has been submitted uh, and we don't know internally what is happening but this particular diagnostic log file report is going to give an excellent analysis what happened within the application. Okay, it is a very good feature. The another one which we, what we are talking is, so uh, whenever we are working with the notifications, let's say the notifications has been sent to the particular user and we don't, we would like to go for a resend that particular notification again. So in that, in that scenario, we can go for, for example, for this purchase order we have, this is a purchase order document, okay. And uh, then there is an actions, you can go for download this, this you can go for download this particular option, but still we wanted to send any of the, you know, requisitions or any employee hiring. If you want to send a uh, notification, resend the notification, we can do it from here. Here we can choose the particular task. What I've done is right now I selected uh, the, transactions which are in progress and after selecting this go to actions menu earlier what happened uh, we were not having resend email notification option 
already the notification has been sent to the user by default they might have deleted or any other reason but still we want to go for resend the email notification to them so in that scenario we can go for send it so that the notification will be recent you have selected one transaction to send uh, uh, recent the email notification and we'll 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 see the confirmation details also here so this is one time you have sent recent the mail notification and process has been started okay so these are the new features has been introduced in uh, human capital management uh, or common arch architecture so the first one is uh, in transaction console archiving process has been enabled console and another one is diagnostic log file has been generated we can download and see the complete log and the approvals and notifications part we can resend the notifications to again the process whatever we have submitted okay thank you subscribe for our youtube channel to get the latest update about the applications here thank you